glad you've joined us. We've been talking about creation. And then last week we talked about the fall. That's why light is so sad. But let's see if God has a plan for his creation, just like Dark thought he did. So let's tune in and see. We're glad you joined us. Okay, so we found out last week there was a fall. There was sin that entered the world. And it just made everybody sad. But we're going to find out today what happens. And let me read this very, very special verse. And I think you'll know exactly what happened. For God so loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. And we all know that's taken from John 3.16. So let's find out what happens today. Well, good morning, Light. Good morning. What's the matter? Still down about the last few days? Of course I am. It's been a horrible couple of days. Yes, it has been sad. God sent his only son Jesus to try to save his people. Finally, after thousands of years, God was going to fix everything that went wrong in the garden. But they murdered him. They crucified Jesus and then they buried him. What's so funny, Dark? Why do you think that's funny? You really don't know? Don't know what? You haven't heard? Haven't heard what? Take a look for yourself. Where? The garden, where they buried Jesus. Look. What? Where are the soldiers? Gone. Where's the stone that covered the tomb? Gone. Where's the body? Gone. Someone ran off with the body? No, the body got up and ran off. What? Happy Easter, right? Jesus is alive. He's alive? Jesus did it. He defeated sin and death. And now anyone who trusts in Jesus can be saved. They can have eternal life. I don't believe it. It's a miracle. <laughs> I told you God would make a way. I told you when Adam and Eve were cast out of the garden. I told you when Jesus died. And I'm supposed to be the dark one. I'm so happy right now. This is going to be the brightest day ever. Jesus is alive. And anyone who believes in him can have eternal life. Wow, how about that lesson? That was something, wasn't it? From the very beginning of time, God knew there was only one way to save his creation. He knew he had to sacrifice his only son. Once sin entered the world, once we are born into sin, there is nothing we can do ourselves to be saved. Unless God did something for us, we would be doomed. Jesus is the only man who never sinned. He was both God and man. Because Jesus died for us, we can have eternal life in a new paradise called heaven. We can have a personal relationship with God, just like our first ancestors, just like Adam and Eve had a personal relationship. We can have that relationship too. God will send the Holy Spirit to live in your heart. And when you leave this world behind, you will live forever with Jesus in paradise. Look around at the wonders of creation this week. Look at the sky. Look at the land. Look at the animals. God did all this so we would see how great he is. It's a love letter made new every day to a lost world. God wants to give you a new life. He wants to give you paradise. God made the world and he made me. He sent Jesus to die for our sins. What more could he do to make you love him in return? So as we close our lessons this week and for, for the summer, we want you to hear just from Miss Kat and Miss Leanne, and we're so glad that you've been with us. Thank you for joining us this summer. I hope you have a great time back at school. I hope that you always remember all the beautiful things God's created in this earth and that he did it just for you. And then he sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for you. So let's remember that and let's close in prayer. Lord, thank you so much for sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Lord, um, help us um, remember all the things you've done for us. Help us um, live a life that would honor and please you. Lord, as we start back to school, they, um, the kids always hang on and remember your creation and how much you made or part of everything. 
and that uh, you had a plan from the very beginning, a plan for each person. Lord. So Lord, I thank you for having a plan for our lives and for um, sending your son Jesus. Lord, help us all have a great school year where we bring glory to God. Yes, God is your son. Amen. Bye, Bye guys. guys.